this is more like the story of my life on how god actually came through for me my phone was stolen from me and everything happened so fast like about the last three weeks actually made me realize that anything can actually happen in a second that moment when you are you feel like you are losing it or you're not actually paying attention to what is actually happening around you or in the environment anything can happen in a second my phone was stolen from me and at that point i almost lost my i was if i was losing myself i thought i lost everything i thought like i saw the world just coming to an end yes like i thought i lost everything i was frustrated i was i could i, I could not i didn't know what i could like you know when you are not expecting something to just happen like everything just happened so fast it just happened in the streets of a second and i was still trying to understand how did it happen i mean why my life was also at stake i was in a very 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 unsafe environment it's more like i was in the middle of an expressway and anything could have happened a moving bus car truck anything i could have lost my life in in a second before you know it bikes came around me and i saw myself hopping onto one to chase the bus driver or the bus that could have actually taken me or could have actually kidnapped me like it was crazy guys but god saved me god came through for me i learned to find joy in chaos you know that song that we usually sing when we say i still got joy in chaos <laughs> i used to sing that song but, but i never got to really understand or get the meaning of that song well oh. i'm sorry but <laughs> so you'd be like why am i not sitting down i don't feel like sitting down right now because i am still overwhelmed i, I think of that scenario i smile and i'm so overwhelmed it's so funny how people have lost their life for things that do not even matter that things are not even worth it or are not even losing your life for i went out for like a cancer awareness program i belong to like an ngo an international ngo who is for who actually helps people you know the lions club international so that day we was our cancer awareness after everything and i boarded the bus i was going back on my way back i i boarded a bus and that bus was i was more like the only passenger in that bus we were just two there was a man in front the driver then the conductor and i first that to my two so i boarded that bus so my mom was saying no she was like i should not enter the shuttle she was like i should not enter the shuttle because the shuttle was just, just me and the driver and that place was like an expressway so i entered the bus so in our heads like the bus would keep like loading more passengers so it was just me and a man in front and um, the driver and the conductor the shuttle was more expensive than the bus i was like let me enter the bus since it's the same thing i entered when i was going this is no big deal if i go back with it then i entered the bus the, the conductor just sat down beside me it's unlike them like when you enter a bus normally they'll be like um they'll be calling forth for more passengers but it was more like he was more content with me i was like why is this conductor not calling for more passengers and the driver was even more relaxed he did not even say anything like i was even stressed that period i was just tired i just could not wait to get to where i was going to because i was already tired like i felt like i've even wasted so much time so at that moment i was just not paying attention to what was even happening around me i was not paying attention i found beside me we're going we're going he did not even ask me for money what he did that was just so unusual was like he was like i should come down come down go to the front seat 
I might have the fan seat. I was like, okay, let me even stay in a more comfortable place. All of a sudden, the door was wanted to fall down. The door was falling down. I was scared and the driver was speeding. I was like, I don't want to lose my life. Like, I, 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 there was just so much confusion. The next thing, they did not even stop me to my destination, to where I was even going to. Oh, that like, this is not where I'm going to. Like, if I still have to like go far. They were like, I should calm down, calm down, calm down. Like, so I came down. I was most stretching my hands, even giving money. The conductor carried the money straight at my feet. The next thing, I came to my conscious mind. I came conscious. I was like, ah, my bag was empty. I screamed at the top of my lungs. I pursued. I ran after him. He was the if I know it, bikes. And it was so sad how people tend to take advantage of people when they are in pain. Like at that point, people were just trying to take advantage of me. Okay, give me money. Let me help you go to this place. Let me help you. Oh, yeah. I climbed the bike. Oh, just imagine me. I was on bike chasing the dry, the a bus that was going far. I don't even know what bus was going to just pursue, pursue, pursue. So, like, what was I even thinking back then? Was I thinking that? I could actually get the driver i don't know what like who was i thinking would i get the driver <laughs> i don't know what i was thinking when i was pursuing this driver like will i get will I, so if i get him now will i beat him what if he was armed because those kind of people are always armed with guns and knife what if he wanted to do something with me like you understand or oh, god just gave me a chance to just run and escape but people were like, that was how they kidnapped someone here. But it now used a one of all the stouts to call to my attention. I was like, hey, see, there's no point chasing. Just go and block your accounts and do what you're supposed to do. Block your line, block your numbers, block everything. The phone is gone. And just when, as if when that man spoke, I came back to consciousness. They had told me that I would lose my phone that money, I would not believe it. And I was actually editing a video that I wanted to post that day, and I could not post it again. And ah, but I just give God the glory that day. I a phone was provided for me, a much better one was provided for me that day. And that thing was that every of my important information, like every of my important details bank details information and like my youtube businesses online like i used to put everything down in writing password username emails everything and that was what saved me you know that was what saved me just imagine if i didn't put my youtube in, in writing and put like important things in writing i could have lost everything and start afresh again it's have been so bad or whenever you see my videos you think maybe someone is impersonating me or this is not the real me always put things in writing even the bible says put your things in writing so you will not forget and you'll be able to go back in time and thank god for what he has done for you and funny enough that week i was like god i will get an iphone this week i'll get an iphone like a new phone even if that was not the way it was supposed to happen but i got that phone it's just so funny and throughout that week i was stressed there was so much like i was just you know that shock and everything but in the twinkle of an eye i recovered everything that i lost back my details my profiles my businesses everything back and I it just came to my realization that i never missed out on anything i never actually lost anything that everything was fine like god actually came through for me so what am i trying to tell you is that no matter what you're going through or you feel like you're in some sort of trouble or some sort of problem you need to give thanks and praise god the more because it would give you that peace that passes all understanding nothing is worth contending for your peace and sanity nothing is worth contending for your peace and sanity whenever you feel like you are losing it run back to god god got you okay god got you it's like in just the space of two weeks like i have recovered everything back i've recovered everything back so now if they even bring the phone for me and say do you want it i don't want it no more so all is just vanity
oh is it could it be contacts people that really care about you will call and say hi so there is nothing i actually lost nothing and i recovered everything back in that trouble that you think that you are in find that joy and happiness is pray and god will give you peace the lord jesus will give you that peace that surpasses all trouble surpasses all like all turbulence that peace that surpasses all understanding that is what he's going to give to you he's going to wipe away your tears like he has done for, for me and he's going to like give you that abundance of blessings that you never even thought that you could ever have he will give you so much more than you ever desired so just take mine as 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 an encouragement and i'll say but look at me now saying it is like a story but only me know what i went through that day only me knows the state that i was in that day only me so just me and god so just between me and god like i could have been kidnapped used for something else or an accident but god kept me that's why god will continue to keep you you that are seeing this video right now you are blessed god has so much in store for you don't lose hope the god that came true for me will come true for you 10 times and even more so find joy that peace god will give you that peace thank you guys so much for joining me today it's just me like i'm sorry but i can't make this video and sit down like i just needed to just stand and you know everything is still i'm still picturing the event and everything but i just thank god for everything all right guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share and today i'll see you guys in my next one bye